Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning WooCommerce theme development tutorial. This is our part number 17. Inside this video session guys, we will see and discuss about that is how can we load post images as well as thumbnails. If you go to our front end site, now inside here, as we have seen that this is the title and these are the descriptions. We have made all these things dynamic. But keep in mind, we have these dummy images. So this time, we are going to upload some featured images for our post and render to this template. So currently, for this listing of all posts, we are using home.php file. So at this file, we will work for these thumbnail images. So first of all, we need to upload some featured images. Back to admin panel, post, let's say all posts. Click on other post, edit and inside this we will have a featured image section. Now here inside this post if we go outside of this and this is our featured image section. So what I will do, click on this set featured image. It will open a model. So either we can select from our media. If suppose we have several images already inside this media gallery. So we can choose any images from that or we can upload from our system. So let's say that we are going to upload some images from our system. So click on this select files and here I am going to select some images. Let's say that I am going to select this image. Click on open. And here images has been uploaded. So click on this set featured image button. And as we can see that we are successfully set this featured image for this post. Click on update. Go to another post what we have with the name of hello world. Click on edit. We are going to set the featured image for this post as well. So click on this set featured image. We can select from this media library or we can upload from our system. So click on this image. Open. We are uploading, select this image, click on this set featured image. We are uploading and update here. But actually we haven't coded to get the dynamic value of the featured image inside this post. So if I reload this, after reloading, we are not able to get back the featured images inside this section. So we need to read about the dynamic value of thumbnails. So back to editor, go inside home.php because as we know that for the front end page or let's say listing of all the posts, we are using this home.php layout. Now inside this loop, we are going to call the, the dynamic featured image icon. Now inside this loop, I am going to declare a URL variable simply, we are going to read about the URL of our featured images. So here, we are going to use some functions of WordPress. So let's say WP get attachment URL. Now inside this, the first parameter and to pass about the thumbnail ID. So let's say get post thumbnail ID and inside this we can pass all about our post object. It means all about I am to pass post ID. So we are going to use post arrow operator this is the id it means we are going to take the post id in the second parameter we are going to read all about the thumbnail image so let's say that thumbnail here so if we go inside this views toggle word wrap and here it is so inside there we are getting all about the url so if i copy this it should be thumbnail Copy this variable, go inside our images section. So instead of this static image, I am putting all about our dynamic PHP variable. So if we save this change, back to browser, and if we press reload button, now as we can see that for this post, we are getting all about the featured image. Again, if I scroll down, 
the same image we are getting actually I think that we have some mistake we will have some different images for this hello world back here and we need to actually write this code after the post because as we have discussed that is the post is the increment loop so here we need to write that go here reload this page so this is for the hello world and this is for the other post so right now this is not the first way to get our thumbnail image or let's say feature image also we have the alternative way what I will do let's say URL equal to WP get thumbnail let's say WP get attachment URL inside this let's say get post what we have used the function here so get post thumbnail ID and we are going to use get the ID this is the function which returns the post ID means here what we have used like post ID or let's say get the ID these two functions are returning about the current post ID what we are iterating over the posts loop and finally this is going to return about the ID and inside the second parameter we want all about our thumbnail icon so let's say thumbnail now save these changes go here reload this page now we are getting this image for this post and this is the image for this post so successfully guys we have implemented all about the featured images which we can set from our WordPress admin panel and we can successfully displayed or rendered inside our home.php page so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day